Hey guys, Cody with Import Image Racing here, and today we're going to be taking a look at three different types of ACT clutches. These are all clutches for your 06 and up Subaru WRX. I'm not entirely sure if they're going to fit the FA24 platform for 22 and up, um, but as of now, these all fit 06 to 2021 WRX models. So we're going to be taking a look at them today. We have three different ones here. We have the HD clutch. We also have the Extreme XT clutch. Uh, so this is heavy duty, uh, the Extreme clutch, and then we have the Extreme race clutch. The first one here is the heavy duty clutch. Let's pop this thing open, take a look at it. So when you open this thing up, you're going to see first off your clutch disc. Now, ACT uses a four-stage heat treatment on these clutches to make them very durable. Uh, this is a good, solid, quality clutch. This is also going to come with some grease for you, so you can grease up the splines and everything when you install this. I know this isn't an install video, but when you guys do go to install these clutches, make sure that you are looking at the orientation of the clutch. So the back side and the front side are going to be just a little bit different. One side is going to have to go to your transmission and the other side will be facing the engine. So you don't want to put this one backwards or it will not work properly. These also have high copper content so it's going to be better for heat transfer so your clutch isn't going to get super hot. And it also has steel backing, like a steel lining on the back and that's going to also help with burst strength. So you're not going to have to worry about that clutch exploding on you anytime soon. Now we have this bad boy included with your clutch kit. This is a really big deal. These things are awesome this is the street light flywheel now these are going to come with basically all the uh, hardware that you're going to need to install this into the car uh, just take note you're going to notice like a rainbow finish on this these are coated with oil to make sure that they don't get any surface rust in packaging but when you get them wipe them down really good with some brake cleaner or some parts cleaner the flywheel here only weighs 13 pounds so your stock flywheel on most Subarus weighs between 25 and 30 pounds. That's a lot of weight that you're losing. So uh, rotational mass, you're gonna gain a little bit of horsepower. You're gonna gain some more responsiveness and the car overall is just gonna drive better. However, you are going to experience just a little bit more noise. Uh, you're gonna hear a little bit more gear chatter and that sort of thing uh, from the lighter weight of the flywheel open this up you're going to see a throw bearing as well as your alignment tool and then down here we have our pressure plate get our pressure plate out you can see the construction they also use precision cover stamping so all the stamping is going to provide rigidity and this is going to be very solid your instructions in here as well as your ACT stickers because got to have your ACT stickers. So a couple closing factors here for the heavy duty clutch. This clutch is going to give you about an OEM pedal feel. It's not going to be too heavy. It's not going to lighten up the pedal at all. Um, you're going to get about 445 foot pound of torque uh, capacity out of this clutch. Now just keep in mind that is at the crank. So that's going to handle quite a bit of wheel horsepower. Uh, so if you are looking for a moderate really mild street build this is going to be good for you however if isn't enough for you and you're shooting for something a little bit more we can talk about our next clutch this is the ACT extreme so I won't bore you too much here because these are treated the same way it goes to that same four part heat treatment same coating same everything it's going to be a very durable clutch however this one is rated at just a little bit more power so we're gonna open this up it's gonna include that street light flywheel as well and when we look at the actual pressure plate, it's going to look pretty much the same. There's no discernible differences here. So this clutch here is actually going to give a heavier pedal feel. So this is where you may be sacrificing uh, some comfort when you're making this power. So this one here is going to be capable of 510 foot pounds of torque. Um, and that's quite a bit. So you're, you are gonna notice a little bit more uh, heaviness to the pedal so it isn't going to be quite as smooth engaging it's going to be a little bit more rigid and the pedal feel is going to be just a little bit tougher the final one we're going to take a look at today is the extreme race clutch we're going to notice a pretty big difference as soon as we open this because this is a six puck clutch being the six puck design it's going to be very tough it's going to be a very strong clutch going to hold the power great however it is going to be a little bit uncomfortable this is going to grab very hard it's going to have quite a heavier pedal so your legs going to be getting a little bit more of a workout in um, but this is definitely going to hold the power of your car um, so this one has some spring centered construction that is going to help with the vibrations it's also going to help with harsh conditions and basically it's going to ultimately keep it from failing 
Um, the spring retainers also have spring windows that's a little bit thicker, so it's gonna help to provide that rigidity and strength. This thing can handle more stress. Basically, same thing as all the other discs. It is, it's temperature treated. It's a very tough disc. You're not gonna have any issue with it. So with the harsh engagement, uh, it may be a little bit harsher, but you're going to have faster shifts uh, because this thing just grabs so quick. You're not gonna have to worry about it slipping. Um, and it's going to absorb a lot of heat because of its larger size. So now let's talk about the number that I'm sure you're waiting to hear. So let's actually lift out this lightweight flywheel that is also included. You're gonna notice, again, pretty similar pressure plate. But this one is capable of 650 torque. 650 foot-pounds of torque at the crank. That's quite a bit of pony. So um, if you are building a car and you think you're going to be surpassing 600 horsepower at some point, this thing is your best friend. This thing is going to be really tough, but yet streetable. So if you do have a really aggressive street car, this is still going to do the trick. Uh, you are going to experience a little bit of discomfort, but that's just what you get when you build race cars, right? So you may be wondering which clutch is the right clutch for me. And it's really going to depend on your build. However, I am going to advise that you just try and stick around what your goal is. Uh, so, for example, if you have a 300 wheel horsepower WRX, uh, rather than getting an OEM clutch if you burn it out, if you know you're going to end up with a 400 horsepower WRX in a year, you might as well just upgrade now, get it out of the way. Uh, it's just ultimately going to be a time saver for you and a money saver in the future. However, if you have a 400 horsepower WRX and your stock clutch can't handle it anymore and it gives out and you don't have any intention on going ever above 400 wheel horsepower, you'd probably be good with the uh, heavy duty clutch. However, if you have a 400 horsepower WRX and you're like, you know what, I'm going to get to 500 horsepower next year, this is what I'm going to do, these are the mods I'm going to buy. Um, you may not want to get the HD because if you get that one and you end up changing your power level and the HD can no longer support that much power, then you're going to have to upgrade. And you're already in there, you already have the car ripped apart, and nobody wants to replace a clutch. It's a very annoying thing to do, it's time consuming, uh, and it's expensive. So I would just go ahead and if you know you're going to get more power, get the clutch that's a little bit more capable. Um, rather than having to buy another clutch and do the whole job over again in a year when you make more power. Uh, the race clutch, I mean, most people know if they're going just balls to the wall, we're going to just send this thing, I would just go straight to this. If you're like, I don't care, we're going to blow this freaking car up, we're going to send it to the moon, this is the clutch you want. Um, so I would just be careful, um, keep in mind, you could overdo it, you know, you don't want to go with a six puck clutch, a 650 horsepower clutch, just to say you have one. Um, if you never intend on getting to that power level. So if you have a 400 horsepower WRX, 650 horsepower capable clutch, you are going to notice some discomfort that isn't necessary for your power level. So you're going to have a heavier clutch that's going to be more difficult to move, more difficult to launch. You're going to have issues because your car doesn't have that much power. Um, so with the lightweight flywheel though, all these clutches are going to be a little bit more comfortable. Before we end today's video, I do want to recommend two things to you guys. So um, the stock Subaru, if you're already in there and you're already replacing the clutch, the stock Subaru clutch fork is garbage. They bend, they break, everyone has issues with them, and you might have had issues yourself. I would recommend the Varus clutch fork. That's going to be a forged clutch fork that's very strong. It's going to be capable for any of these clutches and pretty much any horsepower that you're going for. Um, it is going to be a very good investment for you. If you're already replacing your clutch, might as well just do the clutch fork. Also, I would recommend either getting an OEM Subaru throw bearing. When I got an ACT clutch for my personal WRX, I threw the, clutch, uh, the ACT throw bearing in the garbage and went with an OEM throw bearing. I would either recommend that or the PDM um, TSK3 throw bearing. That's also going to be a very nice throw bearing for you. Uh, the last thing you want is a really squeaky, annoying throw bearing or any issues with your throw bearing after replacing your clutch. So. Three beautiful options. If you need any help and you're not sure what clutch that you need, you can actually contact us at sales at and say, hey, 
I got a WRX speaking 500 horsepower, which clutch should I get? And we'll recommend something to you and we'll get you the best deal on it that we can. We also stock various clutch forks, we also stock different throttle bearings and other stuff that you may need during the install and maybe we can work out a bundle deal for you and get all of that together for you so you don't have to buy multiple times and pay for shipping and all that stuff. So. Hopefully you guys found this video helpful and it's going to be it for today's video. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. We'll try our best to answer them. See you in the next one.